Hello and welcome back to the Microlearning Institute. In this tutorial we look at question 11 from the ACCA F7 December 2014 sitting. In this question we're told that on the 1st of October 2013 Bertrand issued a 10 million dollar convertible loan note. Now in line with IFRS 9 we know that the treatment of convertible bonds is to split the bond into its debt and equity components. Firstly, we look at the debt component and we see that the debt component valuation is determined from the present value of the future cash flows of the bond discounted at the market rate. So the future cash flows in year one is 500k and this 500k is derived from the $10 million valuation of the bond but the bond has a 5% coupon rate. So 5% of $10 million suggests that at year end year one, Bertrand would be, would be providing cash of 500k to the recipient of the bond, the other entity which has chosen to receive the bond and issue the cash to Bertrand. And this 500k won't be paid by Bertrand or received by the other entity until one year from now. So therefore we need to discount its value and we discount it at the market rate of 8%. And in the question we're given a discount factor of 8% after one year of 0.93. So the present value of the 500k that will be issued by Bertrand to the other entity at the end of year one is $465,000. Similarly, in year two, another cash amount of 500k is uh, received by the other entity paid by Bertrand, and the discount factor for two years at 8% is 0.86, so the present value of this second 500k payment is $430,000. And at the end of year three, we pay another 500k, plus the bond could be redeemed in full at par and again if it is to be redeemed in full at par that will be an additional 10 million dollars uh, of cash that will be paid to the other party so the total potential amount of cash to potentially to be paid to the other party at the end of year three is 10 million for the redemption of the bond at par plus 500k for the interest that has accrued at five percent on that bond in the third year we again are told that the discount factor at 8% after year 3 is 0.79, so the present value of the year 3 cash amount to be paid by Bertrand is $8.295 million. So therefore, the overall present value of the future cash flows, which is deemed to be the value of debt at the inception of the bond, is $9.19 million. Now, of course, the other party paid $10 million for this bond and the additional amount, the premium, over and above the actual present value of the bond of 9190 is $810,000 and this amount is deemed to be the value of the equity at initial recognition of this convertible bond. Now, just for completeness, even though we're not asked for it in the question, let's look at the amortization schedule over the subsequent three years for this debt that we initially recognized at $9.19 million. So again, let's prepare the amortization for this amortization schedule for this financial liability. So again, there we see at the 1st of October 2013, initial recognition of the financial liability at $9.19 million. In the year ended, the 30th of September 2014, we accrue interest at the market rate of 8% with respect to the $9.19 million. So to the P&L of Bertrand, we take an interest expense of 8% of $9.19 million, which is $735,200. Again, in line with the schedule of payments, we pay 500K off this liability so that the financial liability on the books of Bertrand at year ended the 30th of September 2014 is $9.425 million. Again, for year ended 30th of September 2015, again we have an interest expense, again carried on the carrying amount of 9.425, so $9.425 million by 8% give us an interest expense in the books of Bertrand of $754,000. Again, we write a further cash amount for $500,000, leaving us with a closing financial liability on the 30th of September 2015 of $9.679 million. Finally, 
on year ending the 30th of September 2016, the interest expense that we accrue is again 8% of the $9.679 million, that is $774,000 goes to the P&L of Bertrand as an interest expense. And on the 30th of September 2016, as mentioned previously, we pay an additional cash amount, $10 million to redeem the bond at par, plus $500,000 in relation to the um, interest that has accrued at the coupon rate on that bond. And this will completely eliminate, this final cash payment of $10.5 million will completely eliminate the financial liability on the books of Bertrand. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial from the Micro Learning Institute regarding question 11 from the ACCA F7 December 2014 sitting.